Hey guys, welcome to our next video on plotting geospatial data with Python. In our previous video, we had looked at how to add markers to our interactive folio maps. And in our today's video, we are going to be looking at how to change the tile styles or the style of the map. Now, before we understand how to change the tile style, let's understand what exactly is a tile. So all the maps that you see on the internet are simply collection of tiles that contain vector data. And as you zoom in, these show up more and more information. And when you zoom out, they'll show lesser information. So these tiles are all arranged in a pyramid manner. So as you keep zooming out, you will be able to see lesser information. And as you keep zooming in, you will be able to see more detailed resolution and information about the area that you're looking at. So let's go to our map and change the tile style of the map that we are creating. So let me pick up the same map and to add the tile style to it, I will be using an argument called tiles. And because we haven't even set the zoom level, let me just do that. And for tile style, we will be using tiles as the argument. The default tile style that we are seeing right now, which wherein you can see a lot of information is the open street view. So let's go ahead and see other tile styles. So today we'll be dealing with open street map, which we have already seen as our default map and stem and terrain, toner and watercolor and Carto DB positron and dark matter because the others usually have some sort of limitations. And like you can see CloudMate and Mapbox you need to have an API key passed to access them. So let's go ahead and try out these tile styles that we just mentioned. The very first one that we'll be looking at after open street map is the stem and terrain. Let me call that out. So stamen terrain is the kind of a map you want to use when you want to show vegetation and the basic terrain of your map. So like you can see around Bangalore, these are the hilly areas and these are the Western Ghats. So all the kind of hillsides that you can see around Bangalore will be highlighted in a stamen terrain map. So you can use this map whenever you want to plot or show the vegetation area or just general terrain around the location coordinates that you have picked up to plot. Let's go ahead to our next tile style, which is called stem and toner. Let me pick this up from here and add stem and toner right here. Now stem and toner are high contrast black and white map like you can see. And the benefit of using this map is that you will be able to see all the administrative boundaries as well as all the water bodies and not just within a certain area, but majorly around the coastal lines. You'll be able to see lakes and rivers very clearly using this map here. So like we can see upon zooming in, we're very clearly able to see the Pulikat Lake boundaries and around the area, we're able to see where else do some sort of water bodies lie. So you can use this kind of a map when you want to highlight water bodies in your map. Our next tile style is going to be the stem and watercolor. So let me just paste this here and add stem and watercolor here. Now watercolor does not have a very specific kind of rule, but depending upon how aesthetic you want to make your output, you can use a watercolor map. And this is going to add a hand drawn texture and a warm pop to any map that you're trying to draw. Depending upon your use case, you can maybe give this a try and see whether you want it or not. Let's go ahead to our next type of maps, which are CartoDB. So let me paste this and add CartoDB here. Now, CartoDB also has two types, which is Positron and Dark Matter. And like the name might sound, CartoDB Positron is white, whereas Dark Matter is for a darker themed place. So let's try out both of them. You can see Carto DB Positron will show a light map and the benefit of Carto DB is that you can go on to any zoom levels and you will be able to see very clear view of the streets and the names and again water bodies like rivers and lakes. So considering that Bangalore has a lot of lakes, I think you'll be able to see all of them in this Carto DB Positron map. And if you want the darker theme of this, we can simply replace the Positron to Dark Matter. And we are seeing the exact same thing, 
but depending upon the theme of where you're presenting this map is dark or light you can choose between carto dd positron and dark matter like i've already stated and it's pretty dark for me so i think i'll stick with positron now one more thing that we can try here is these tile sets that we saw are all a different layer hence these tile sets can be placed one below another parallelly and within the same map we can actually access all of the tile sets let's see how we can do that i'll be using the folium.tile layer function for that let me just call upon my map first and remove the tiles argument you can keep the tiles argument still if you want but i'm going to remove it for now and i'm going to use the tile layer function let's call that polium.tile layer and within this i'm going to add the argument of the tile style that i want so let's add all of the tile styles that we've covered so far and then we'll be using the add to map function that we've been using so many times above and we'll add it to our base map called m let me copy this and add all the other styles that we've been using so far. Now, before I run this, I will also have to use a function called layer control so that we can access all of these style sets separately. So let me add that. And again, I'll be adding this to our map. And now let me run this. And now you will see we have our first default tile set, which is the open street view. And on the top right, you will be seeing this parallel set of sheets, which upon clicking, you can access various other styles and see which one actually suits best for you, depending upon what kind of output you want. And that was all that was there to cover in tile styles in Folium. Stay tuned to our next video wherein we'll be exploring how to add GeoJSON and TopoJSON files to our map and get more information out of it.